Alright, hello, welcome to Mini Adventure. Um, what's up? It's been a little bit, uh, I'm still getting everything all wrapped up and um, fixing the schedule, so I uh, went ahead and bought Hollow Knight. It was on uh, sale this week for, I think, 35% off. Great deal, the game's only like 10 bucks, and it comes with all the DLC, so that's some spicy goodness. I've heard that this game is... Um, very widely known, widely known, sorry, for uh, being really artsy, really fun, and difficult. So, I'm looking for a challenge. I've already played a little bit of this game. Uh, here is my personal save file that I'm going to be playing alongside the, uh, or like this new game, this uh, starting file for a mini adventure. So, whenever I go through this game, uh, I'm going to be able to do it as fast and as uh, accurate as possible, I guess. Um, I'm not going to be watching any like walkthroughs or let's plays, though, or, or like tutorials, unless I absolutely have to. So, um, hopefully I don't fuck anything up. And, uh, oh shit, I got a text message. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and hop on in. Uh, hopefully I don't have any audio issues this time around. I was... Filling with it like all morning. Oh, by the way, this game has a lot of dialogue in it, so if you're not a big fan of me reading shit to you guys, you might wanna. I don't know. Switch to a different playlist or some shit. I don't know, dude. From Energy Hallness by Mono the Teacher. Monomon. Huh. Oh, uh, the cutscenes in this game are very beautiful. I like them a lot. And, uh, everything's, um, uh, I think it's animated in, I can't remember the program, but all I know is that the animations look fucking great in this game. Alright, we got some masks, got some angry doodads. I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that that's like the final boss of the game. Looks like it. Ooh. I like it so much. The art style is so pretty. It really immerses you in, in the game. What the fuck is that? It's like a weird mushroom field. <coughs> Alright, let's get into the visual game. Oh, I'm playing this on the uh, Nintendo Switch, if that wasn't obvious. So this is our main character. Um, I don't exactly know what gender they are. I think it's a girl, but... um. I've heard otherwise from people, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna assume it's a girl. Um I already know where a lot of the secrets are in this game, so I'm just gonna really quickly go through it. Man, this is gonna be so difficult. I'm gonna need to like, keep a timer on my phone so it can uh, tell me uh whenever we've reached fifteen minutes. Why? Why? Uh whenever I was first playing this game, it reminded me a lot of um Super Meat Boy, if any of you guys know that game. It's um one of those really hardcore indie platforming games. So ah oh, fuck. That's why um I see a lot of strings tied between them, since this is also one of those um indie games that were um what's it called? They're um backed by Patreon, that's the one. What? Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks you amongst us. Focus your soul and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream. Collect soul by striking enemies. Once enough soul is collected, hold A to focus soul and heal. Let's do that real quick. Now I got full health. Bum, 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 bum. Oh my god, I'm 
just ran under that spike. Ba -ba -bum -bum -ba -bum. Boom. 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 This game is very adventurous. So if you guys are not a big fan of kinda quiet, very chill, hopefully chill. I've heard this game gets really fucking difficult and like, um, I think about five hours into it. I've only I've only gone as deep as four hours, but who knows? Um. Wah, wah. Wah, 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 wah. The fuck was that? Oh, give me uh more health. Wah, wah. I really love the uh the animations. They're so fucking cutesy. Wah. Looking up and down reminds me a lot of uh, Super Mario World, where you can just look at the uh, area around you to make sure that you um haven't missed anything. Great. Um. Holy shit. Okay. So this is one of those spots where, like, I kind of cheatsy doodled a little bit. Like, on my first go around, I didn't understand how to get over here, but I kind of. I kind of. <laughs> I kind of cheatsy did a little bit. You're not supposed to be able to do this this early in the game, but fuck it. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Within our lands, do not hide your true form. Let all bask in your ma majesty. I'm a little baby. I don't know majesty. What the fuck you talking about? For only this kingdom could produce ones such as you. I got a little thingy. Got a little booty boop. Let's see what this is. Collected a charm. Fury of the Fallen. Equip a charm to activate its powerful abilities. To equip a charm, open the charms menu while resting at a bench. Don't know what any of that is this early in the game, because we're a little, little baby boy. We don't know nothing about no benches. Ba -ba -bum. Gotta do a lot of backtracking in this game. Uh, It's kind of hard to explain, but... Basically, you have one giant map that you slowly explore and uh, upgrade, like uh, you upgrade your abilities in, and um, it's kind of like Mega Man, where like you can't go certain places without certain things, and like it's uh, easier to kill certain things with other certain things, blah blah blah. Kind of, kind of Legend of Zelda, I guess, Zelda-ish. Or where like you can't beat a certain enemy unless you have like the hook shot or whatever or like bombs, so just a nice way to introduce this game. <clears throat> Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Beyond this point you enter the land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization. The Eternal Kingdom Hollow Nest. So this is where the rest of the game is gonna be happening then. Hollow Nest. What I hate how you can't like. There's not. There isn't like a real s sprint button. Dirt mouth, the fading town. Hi, dear grandpa. Elder bug. Oh, there, traveler. I'm afraid there's only me left uh, to offer uh, to offer a welcome. Our town's falling quiet, you see. Sorry, I'm really far away from the TV, so if my grammar's off, don't, don't, like, slip my throat. The other residents, they've all disappeared. Headed down that well, one by one, into the caverns below. Used, used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long fell to ruin, yet it still draws folks into the depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment, that darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you too seek your dreams down there. 
Well, watch out. It's a slick... Eh? It's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. It's fucking deep, dude. Equip charms, uh, open the charm menu by resting at a bench. Press minus. Ooh. This is the charm we got. Fear of the Fallen embodies the fury and heroism that consumes upon those who are about to die. When close to death, the bear, huh? The bearer's strength will increase. So wanky. Um, how do I? Oh, Grandpa. Many used to come hopping. Oh, yeah. Many used to come hoping the kingdom would fulfill their desires. Hollow Nest was once. F fuck. Damn it. Sorry. My lists are jacking me up. Hollow Nest was once called supposedly the greatest kingdom there ever was, full of treasures and secrets. Hmm. Now it's nothing more than a poisonous tomb full of monsters and madness. Everything fades eventually, I suppose. I mean, this, this guy's depressing. I don't like talking with him. So we gotta go find. Oh. For all your mapping supplies, we will be opening soon. Izelda? Az Izella? And Corn. Cornifer. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is that? Like a booty hole in the background? What the fuck? Let's see what's over here before we go um, down to the well. Wait. A stone door with a simple lock. Wow, that's boring. Damn, I expected there to be something more there. Um, so might as well just go down. Forgotten crossroads. Sounds like my kind of place. So this is the start of our great adventure in the fucking um, Hollow Knight universe in Hollow Nest. That's the name of it. Oops, I didn't mean to go up. Uh, ah, shit. We're going on 12 minutes. I think we can do a little bit more. <gasps> so these little weird jubly looking things I'm collecting that I have 99 of. I'm pretty sure they're like spores or something. I don't exactly remember what they are. But all I know is that it's like a currency in this game, so. That's what I'm going to be using to pay out and buy hookers and do all this shit. Temple of the Black Egg. This was in the opening cutscene. Hello there. How delightful to meet another traveler on these forgotten roads. Fuck are you talking about? It's like right down the street from the fucking dirt mouth. You're a short one, but you've a strong look about you. I'm Quirrell. Qu Quirrell? Quirrell? I have something of an obsession with uncharted places. This ancient kingdom holds many fascinating mysteries, and one of the most in intriguing one of uh, one of the most intriguing of them is standing right before us. A great stone egg lying in the corpse of an ancient kingdom. And this egg? Is it warm? It certainly gives off a unique air. Can it be opened? There are strange marks all over it. I do so love a mystery. And who knows what other marvels lie even deeper below us. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Can't really do nothing with it though. Anything over here? Nope. Damn. Nothing but fucking walls. For so long I felt drawn here. So many tales full of wonders and horrors. No longer could I resist. I just had to see it for myself. And what time I chose to arrive. This dead world has sprung to life. The creatures are riled up and the earth rumbles. 
The air is thick, and I won- wait. I wonder what could have brought it all about. Fucking diabetes. I don't know, dude. Oh, now we're at 15 minutes. Alright, I'm just gonna end it off here. Uh, if you like this episode, please do like, subscribe, call and play next time. Uh, by the way, all the comments I got from that one video were like, play Fortnite and like, Detroit become human and shit. I'm, I need to save up money to get those big budget games, man. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll play them later. Uh, I just want to do this as like a nice, soft opening to more Matthew-only episodes because Cody's been so busy. But, um, yeah. Uh, see you guys in the next episode. Hopefully this episode isn't broken. Bye-bye.